Turkey has been the link between Europe and Asia for thousands of years. It has a rich history and landscape, including beaches and tall mountains. Turkey is very diverse because it has been a place of trade and cultural exchange. At the place where East and West meet, there are a lot of cultures and a lot of different influences. This can be seen in the country's delicious food and the many religious buildings and archaeological sites. Most travel plans include Istanbul, which was once the capital of the Byzantine and Ottoman empires. However, there are many other great places to visit. You could spend your time in boutique hotels and caves and floating in hot air balloons over the otherworldly landscape of Cappadocia, wandering in the middle of the Greco-Roman world in Ephesus, or just soaking up the sun in the luxury beach resorts along the Aegean Sea. Hello guys, welcome to the top destinations. In this video, I am going to tell you about the top 10 best places to visit in Turkey. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Now let's get started. 1. Istanbul Istanbul is the largest city in Turkey and one of the largest in the world. It was once the capital of the Ottoman and Byzantine empires. Istanbul is the only city in the world in Asia and Europe. It is built on both sides of the Bosphorus, a narrow strait that connects Asia and Europe. Istanbul is one of the best places to visit in the world because of its beautiful buildings, historical sites, restaurants, shops, nightlife, and exotic atmosphere. Most of the city's impressive historical sites, like Hagia Sophia, the Blue Mosque, and Top Kapi Palace, are in the old city. New City is a crucial area known for its modern attractions, skyscrapers, and shopping malls. Biaglu and Galata are popular places for nightlife and entertainment, while the Bosphorus area has beautiful palaces, waterfront mansions, and urban parks. 2. Cappadocia Cappadocia is a region of Turkey in central Anatolia. It is best known for its strange rock formations that look like chimneys, cones, mushrooms, and pinnacles. Over time, things like ancient volcanic eruptions and erosion have shaped these peculiar rock formations. Some of them are as high as 130 feet 40 meters. But people made the landscape more exciting thousands of years ago by carving homes, churches, and underground cities out of the soft rock. Hittites and others who lived there as early as 1800 BC dug underground tunnel networks to hide from Persian and Greek invaders. Later, when Christians were being persecuted for their faith in Rome, they ran away to the tunnels and caves of Cappadocia. Today, the area is a popular place to visit because of its natural beauty and historical sites. 3. Ephesus The mighty ruin of Ephesus is a city full of massive monuments and marble column streets that you should not miss. This is one of the best preserved ancient cities in the Mediterranean area. Here, you can get a feel for what life must have been like during the height of the Roman Empire. The city has been around since the 10th century BC, but all of the essential buildings you see today were built during the Roman era, when it was a thriving commercial center. The Library of Celsus, the complex of frescoed terraced houses, and the Great Theater all showed Ephesus' wealth and importance when the Romans ruled it. You'll need at least half a day to see the main sites, and if you really want to look around, you'll need more time. Plan your trip ahead of time so you don't feel rushed. 4. Bodrum In the Mughla province in the southern Aegean region of Turkey, Bodrum is the site of the ancient fortified city Halicarnassus. This city had marble buildings, temples, statues, paved streets, and the mausoleum, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. After the city fell into ruin, it was a quiet fishing village until Turkish intellectuals wrote about it and made it famous in the 20th century. People come worldwide to see Bodrum's fascinating ruins, beautiful beaches, and clifftop resorts. On the eastern side of Bodrum, there is a beautiful beach with a view of bright blue water. There are a lot of cafes and bars near the beach. The marina, shopping centers, and restaurants are all on the western side of town. The Castle of St. Peter, also called Bodrum Castle, is an integral part of any trip to Bodrum. It was built by the Knights Hospitaller beginning in 1402. It is now a museum. 
There are also the last pieces of the mausoleum, an old theater, and the Mindos Gate, which was the site of a bloody battle when Alexander the Great was trying to take over the city. 5. Side The Side was a major port in ancient Pamphylia, and Alexander the Great lived there in the 4th century BC. Today, it is a beautiful town with ancient ruins and modern resorts that look out over white sandy beaches. The Side is a small peninsula on the Mediterranean coast of Turkey in the province of Antalya. It is an excellent place for sightseeing, nightlife, and outdoor activities. The main attraction on the side is where ancient Hellenistic and Roman ruins have been dug up. These ruins include the remains of a vast theater, an agora, a Byzantine basilica, public baths, marble columns, and different temples. The Roman baths have been fixed up and are now a museum where Roman statues and other things can be seen. The Temple of Apollo is beautiful, especially at sunset, because it looks out over the beach. The side is a charming town with narrow streets and pretty gardens. It has a wide range of restaurants, from delis and pizza shops to high-end restaurants serving a variety of cuisines. The Manavgat River has boat tours, white water rafting, and beautiful waterfalls outside town. 6. Marmaris Marmaris is one of the most popular seaside resorts in Turkey. It has pine-covered mountains, white sand beaches, turquoise water, and old buildings. This beautiful cruise port is southwest of Turkey on the Turkish Riviera. It is a tourist stream with great places to see, water sports, great food, and busy nightlife. Marmaris has so many things to see and do that visitors will have difficulty deciding what to do. The castle of Sulim in the Magnificent, built in the 1600s, can be seen walking along the old quarter's cobblestone streets. Visitors can take different boat tours to see the beautiful bays and villages nearby. Marmaris also has water parks that are fun for the whole family and Turkish baths where you can relax and be pampered. If that isn't enough, you can take a day trip from Marmaris to places like Dalian, Ephesus, Pamukkale, and Cleopatra Island, which are also worth seeing. 7. Antalya Antalya is a big, lively city on the Mediterranean coast of Turkey, near the beautiful Turkish Riviera. It has many resorts, hotels, bars, and restaurants for tourists. The town is surrounded by beautiful beaches and lush green mountains with ruins here and there. Antalya has something for everyone. You can swim, sail, climb mountains, see sights, and have fun with your family. When you walk around Kalaisi, the old quarter, you can see old city walls, Roman gates, streets that look like mazes, historic buildings like the clock tower, and beautiful old churches, mosques, and temples. Kamhuriyet Square is in the middle of the old quarter. It is surrounded by shops, cafes, Turkish baths, and street performers. Kanyalti and Lara are Antalya's two main beaches. They have white sand, water sports, resorts, bars, and restaurants, water parks, theme parks, and a zoo close to the beaches. Several museums, like the award-winning Antalya Museum, show artifacts and relics from the area. 8. Mardin Mardin is the capital of the Mardin province. It is in the southeast of Turkey, on a hilltop with a good view of the plains of Mesopotamia. Mardin is one of the oldest cities in the area. It is best known for its many different cultures and old city, which has sandstone buildings cascading down the hill. The old city of Mardin is easy to see on foot. Visitors can see terraced houses and popular sites like the Dira Zafaran Monastery, one of the oldest monasteries in the world, and the Sultan Isa Medrasesi, which was built in the Middle Ages and was once used as an astronomical observatory. Zinkiriya Medrasesi is an Islamic school built in the 14th century with beautiful courtyards and works of art. 9. Ankara Ankara, the capital city of Turkey, is a large, modern city with many government buildings, businesses, universities, and embassies from other countries. Ankara, right in the middle of Turkey and the Anatolia region, is a central transportation hub connecting Turks and tourists to other major cities in Turkey. But Ankara is not just about business. This busy city has a few historic sites and arts and culture. Ankara is an old city once home to the Hittites, Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, and Ottomans. The city is full of old buildings and ruins that show its history. 
The Temple of Augustus, the Citadel, and a Roman theater are some of the most famous. There are also many old mosques spread out across the city, and at Kabir is a mausoleum that holds the tomb of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, Turkey's first president. It is an important landmark from the 20th century. 10. Pamukkale The white travet and terraces of Pamukkale Cotton Castle in English are one of Turkey's most famous natural sites. They look like a snowfield in the middle of a green landscape. Even though the Travitans themselves are a highlight of a trip to Turkey, the ancient spot town of Greco-Roman Hierapolis, whose ruins are spread across the top of this calcite hill, is also a must-see. After you've seen the ruins of the city's Agora, Gymnasium, Necropolis, and Grand Gates, and looked out over the countryside from the ancient theater, you can swim in the mineral-rich waters that made this old spot town famous. You can do this in the ancient pool. Thank you guys for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. It was all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.